Hi everybody. Welcome to Gus's Gizmos and I'm Gus. Today we're going to talk about the laser aligner and I want to show you the features and how to use the laser aligner. I also want to point out uh, some new features. I am now 3D printing the arms and the laser holder itself. Um, this uh, the old wooden ways were extremely, extremely labor intensive, so it became necessary to do something that would um, that would uh, um, make it easier to manufacture these things and keep the price down. So this is the complete one. Let's take a look at what happens when you order one and you get a, a, an aligner in the mail. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to grab this shipping box right over here. This is what you're going to get. A box like this and it'll have the a brand new aligner in there. Protected with bubble wrap. This is what you're going to get. Put this out of the way. I tend to use a lot of um, bubble wrap. I want to make sure that what you get is in one piece and fully functional. So this is it. It's going to come to you like this. So let's get this stuff out of the way. Put this over here. This is what you're going to get. First, we're going to get some instructions. That's what you get right over here. All your instructions over here, how to put it together, how to use it. Next, inside here is a little packet that has pegs and two batteries. So let's start by removing the rubber bands. I should point out that it comes disassembled. There'll be one arm that's missing and that arm is provided right here. And we'll take off the rubber bands like that. And then we'll remove the safety piece of cardboard over here. And take off this last piece. You'll wind up with something like this. And what you're going to want to do is just lift up your, your arm and lift it up into position like that. There's a thumb screw here, and you want to tighten this up just a little bit to keep this immobile. Then you're going to take a 9 millimeter wrench or a pair of pliers, and you're going to back out this screw right, this nut right here, a nylon lock, wire, or lock nut. And the same thing over here, you're going to... Take this screw, whoops, I'm going to have to use a screwdriver. We're going to take this off. Okay, now we're going to take this and put it in the bottom like that all the way in put the washer on the outside you're never gonna have washers between the base and the plastic here or you're not gonna have any washers in here the washers will always go to the outside okay so after we put this we're gonna put this together and We're going to feed that in. We're going to put a washer over here. And we're going to put a lock nut on this side. You may want to take, like I said, you can use a 9 millimeter wrench or you can get a pair of pliers. Just something to hold that nut because it, it will turn in your hand when you tighten up the screw 
and you're gonna make it friction tight. You're gonna just make it snug. If you make it too tight, you won't be able to move your arms. And if you make it too loose, when you let go, it's it might collapse. So we'll put this last screw in over here. And then we'll take our nine millimeter or pliers and we'll tighten this up. And you'll feel it when it gets snug. And make sure that this moves freely, but offers a little bit of resistance. You notice that your laser itself is out of position, so we're going to aim it straight down. And I want to point out something over here, that we have a brass screw. This screw is meant only to hold the arm in place. Otherwise, the arm would tend to work its way out and this thing's going to fall off. If you over tighten this, all right, it's going to strip the plastic inside. So you do not want to do that. You want to make sure that this is friction tight. You can feel it. It's not going to, you can let go of it and it's not going to flop around. All right. Then on the bottom, there's a battery holder and your little packet comes with two batteries. You put them into the holder, you take the pegs, and I'm going to switch to this one right now because it's all set up. And I want you to notice how the pegs are configured. We have a black peg over here. That's a stop peg. When you put a cup or a tumbler, it's going to hit that and then it's going to rest like that. The reason we have different colored pegs is that similar colors are the same height. All right, and we can go to the blue, which is the highest one, and you notice that it is much higher. It's about a half an inch higher. The reason for the different colored pegs, and they should always be paired up, red, green, which is a little bit taller than the, than the red, all right, and the blue ones are the tallest. The reason for that is because your cups almost always are sloped. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that when you're working on your cup, it's, it's fairly level. You don't want it sloped down like this. You want it fairly level. So we're going to take these two red ones out put them on the side. We're going to take these two blue ones and put them here. And now you notice that the cup is more level. All right. And once you have those in there, you're, you're ready to go. And we'll put that back over here. If you have a longer cup, let's use this one. All right. You may want to do dispense with these leave these in the back here let's put the red ones up over here and then we'll put this here and you notice how it's fairly flat right now all right that's what we want okay so that when we put the decals we turn on the laser light uh, it'll give us a better idea of the placement of the laser beam we hit this and it turns on the laser light now the first thing that we want to do is we want to adjust the laser light to be perpendicular to the cup. So we're going to move this over here right to this edge or we could move it to this edge but we're going to put it right over here and then we're going to turn this so that the laser light is perpendicular to the cup and we can go right to the very edge and we see that it, it pretty much uh, is perpendicular to the, to the, to the uh, top of the cup. Now, it doesn't matter, once we've done that, it doesn't matter where we place this beam. It's always going to be in the exact same relative position to the cup. So we can go from this extreme to this extreme 
all the time maintaining the position of the laser light. Now this will also work for cups like wine bottles. So we'll take this and we'll put, because the wine bottle you notice is, is straight up and down. So we'll take, we'll take similar pegs, two red here and two red there, and we'll put this here. And now you see that this is perfectly flat. The laser beam travels from this end and stays in its relative position all the way up to this end. In case we got to put a label up here or a label down here, it doesn't matter where we put it, it's always going to be in the same relative position. Let's take a look at a different cup over here that my daughter made. She's already, she's already made this. And this one doesn't have any straight lettering. It's got, it's got lettering that's um, at an angle. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in, let's put the green ones here. We want to lift up the back end of this. And we're going to put this like that. And what we can do now is we can turn this this way. And this helps us put in, you see how the new year, the lettering new year is at an angle. And if we put this here, you'll see how the red laser light is at an angle. And then if we move it up to here, we see that it maintains the exact same angle. Also, if we flip it around, and we've got, we've got Santa Claus in his sleigh, and we've got that angle. And if we want to have the same angle over here, we, we would come down. Now, in this case, my daughter made this a little bit different. And this will maintain the same angle no matter where you put it. Also, notice that she's got snow on one side. And she's divided in half and into midnight over here. So we have a line here. So let's turn, first of all, what we want to do is we're going to use the crosshairs. You notice there's a crosshair this way, a vertical crosshair and a horizontal. So if we want things to be exactly right, we would turn our beam until it's right there. And that sets up our beam on the horizontal crosshair. But we want to check, we want to check that this vertical line is exactly right. So we'll turn this thing around like this. And just I just happen to hit it pretty close. It's it's it the red laser line may not fall exactly on this vertical cross here, but you can make it parallel. And that's really all you have to do if you're going to do some vertical alignment. So now we take this and we put it here and we see that the line is right on. All right, I'm just going to make a, a fine adjustment. All right, so this is where we might put tape over here to separate one color from the other. And then obviously when you get to the other side, you want the same thing. So now we turn it like this. And now we could put tape on this side. And that would maintain our vertical line and make it equal from this side to this side. Also the tree. Your tree. In this case, she's put a tree over here, and she wants the tree to be perfectly vertical up and down. So using the same setting, doesn't matter where we go with it, it's going to stay there. We put this here, it's going to stay, all right, no matter what, okay? So that's how that works.
And like I said, you can move your, your pegs around. Just use the pegs that are necessary to move. And we're, we're good over here. And you got the different ones for different heights. That's what you get in your, in your package when you get it. So I hope you enjoy using your laser aligner. And I hope it serves you well. I think you're going to enjoy using it. Keep in mind that when you're putting on lettering or art or something like that, you can turn this off and you don't really need the, uh, a laser. You can just move it out of the way and you can put your, your lettering or whatever. You can completely wrap it around. You've got, there's nothing in the way over here. There's no supports. There's no noodles. There's no bars over here. You can just completely move it around. If you need the aligner, you swing it up into position, you turn it on, all right, you adjust it, and you're good to go. So, if you've ordered it, it'll, it's on its way. If you're thinking about ordering it, this is how, it's, how it works, and I hope you enjoy using it, and thank you very much for watching.